Hello, so today I want to talk to you about Leo, Moon, and the seventh house. So if you have this placement, you're probably an Aquarius rising, but you don't have to be. You can always be a Pisces rising or Capricorn rising and things can still work out. But, okay, this placement. So the moon. The moon is the internal part of your chart. So the sun is your external light, your external source of warmth and creation. The moon is internal. It's a more feminine creation. It's attracting and going through that pregnancy phase and then creation versus the masculine creation is just doing. There's a different way of going about it, but the moon also brings life and it's very nurturing. It is very comforting. It's your mother. It's your home. It's your root. It's your past. And even if <clears throat> you have negative connotations of those energies, there's still an energy there that shows you what you need on an internal level to feel secure, to feel like you can do this, to feel like you can build into the world. And for you, Leo Moon, to feel like you can be happy. And Leo energy. Leo is the sun. So your moon energy, your internal feminine creativity energies, expresses like the solar masculine creativity energies. So you're someone who you're on. It's important for you to have happiness, to have joy, to have excitement um, in your life, to be able to just get lost in the moment with good people and your friends and the ones you love the most and just, just enjoy that the moon or the sun is the inner child and in that you know the five-year-old running around playing outside the moon is the inner child and in that it's the three-year-old child you know needing the mother to nurture them so the way you are nurtured is through running around and playing creating having fun and yes you just have a high need for having fun and it makes for like a very fun home a very fun relationship with people at the same time too though leo energy is the king leo is the royalty it wants to be in the center so you like to have people magnetized to you and if you're an aquarius rising you might be a very unique person but your uniqueness kind of allows you to connect with a lot of different people and when you connect with them you're allowed to let this light shine people respond really well to that people feel a lot like they're at home with you um if you do struggle though to kind of let your own love energies um your own heart shine for itself then you might find that people kind of are put off by your desire to be in the spotlight so the sun is its own source of light and then the planets revolve around it and so leo moon be your own source of light and let the people revolve around that so when it comes to your family when it comes to your friends your partners your loved ones be who you are and let people be attracted to that because you are a loving person you are a very caring person a very nurturing person and yes you like attention yes you like to be in the spotlight and there's nothing wrong with that but do it because that's just who you are not because you need it you don't need the attention you'll be okay if you can like if you had to take care of them you could do that you could put aside your own ego to help and care because you have like the inner mother in you is just so full of heart and the seventh house is partnerships, it's relationships, it's the way we meet other people. So you bring this energy up when you meet people. Like you are probably someone who is so warm to connect to, to be friends with, to, to talk to. Because you have a way of just nurturing and bringing light energy in. Now, with a Leo moon, you may have had a bit of a dramatic mother, a centric mother, um, a very creative mother, a very unique mother, very bold mother, but it's going to kind of translate as a very unique, bold quality in yourself. And it may have felt like, too, at times, like your mother depended on you to kind of give her light, to shine light on her, to be the light of her world, 
And so don't fall for the pattern of finding someone who's a victim who needs your light. Don't give your light to people just because you feel like you feel obligated to because they tell you you have to. Your light is a very special and cherished gift. The moon is not always out. The sun, every day, from sun up to sundown, the sun is fully shining. But every night, the moon's not always out. Sometimes the moon is full, but sometimes the moon is, is not. Sometimes you don't see any of the moon. And so your sunlight, you do have phases where you need to kind of retreat inward and go within and take care of the self. And then you have times where you're like the life of the party and you can go out, but you can't always be that energy when you need to go in, when you need to reflect, when you need to take care of the self. And for you, self-care is so important. Like you do care about other people so deeply. So take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, Leo Moon, Seventh House people. Take care of yourself because if the sun doesn't shine, the planets aren't gonna revolve around. The gravity is gonna go away. The life the sun gives us is going to go away. And so make that your priority. Make that your priority to shine. Because the seventh house energy, the people you meet, they're going to feel like home and they're going to feel like sunshine and heart. But it's because you have that energy in yourself. Because you can bring that energy to the relationship, to the table, because you have it in yourself. You're a beautiful soul, a loving heart, and just like the energy is just it makes me so happy to tap into and to feel into your energy you guys so celebrate you take care of you and enjoy the people around you because if I just it feels like life's a party and you feel content in yourself and you smile and you look around and you have all these people your partners your family your friends that are so important and so close to you and they've probably been there for a while you know the moon is the past so you have people in your life from the past who are still there for you you have family who is still there for you blood or water you have family so enjoy let the light shine um if you want more information on other placements in your chart um you can feel free to request specific placements or you can always book a reading with me i'm going to leave the information below um please leave comments and feedback on how this resonates with you or how it doesn't because a lot of times the energy can express differently with other things at play and i really it's important to have the the full picture in so leave a comment um and if you like please share subscribe all that good stuff but until next time bye bye